Hmm. Might have the Warframe issue too. Alright, that's good to know. Anyways, welcome to Craftopia. I have no idea what we're in for, but it's an experimental game. Well, not experimental, it's early access. Um, there is a chance that we will encounter bugs, this is expected. We're not going to be playing multiplayer, so thankfully that's not going to be too unstable. At the same time, I have absolutely no clue what we're going to be playing. But, let's jump into it, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, there's no characters. Let's create one. Same face other way. Alright, sure. Eh. <laughs> okay, then. Very anime character creation, but sure. Got that style. Green. That is barely visible. Sure, gray. Hmm. Spin. You know what? Yeah, I feel like playing female. Why not? Plus, this thing looks like it's uh, more made for female characters, anyways. Beard and face paint, alright. Hmm. I like that color. Not applicable. Okay. Okay. Strange that there's no... Oh yeah, there is the skin color option. Uh... Eh... Eh... Let's go with that color. That's not, like, blindingly bright. <laughs> uh... Sure, let's go with that. I make whatever character I want. Uh. Now, test complete. Oh. Okay. During your chest, you can store items inside it, but when the chest is broken, all the items inside will be lost. Make sure to place it somewhere safe. If you want to use the two handed sword, you must. Okay. Well, that's a heavily designed character, sure. The planet I destroyed by pushing a button. Push the button! I can still control my character. Okay, I can use that button to crouch. I mean, to be fair, there was no uh, sign saying don't push. Controls nukes. Alright. So if I tap the forward button, I can uh, fast enough, I can escape backwards. <laughs> no seriousness at all. Sure. Okay. And it just disappeared. Okay, you might want to mess with the opacity of that. Rather than... Okay. Rather than just have the uh, world be a literal mirror to these things, you might want to actually make it a proper mirror. 
Did I just walk off? Yes. The upper right corner of your screen for missions. Alright, let's make a new world. Uh, there we go. That's weird. It deselected itself. Explore the world and to enjoy the life in a different world. Building setting can be changed any time in single player. Yeah. Hard, very hard. Uh, let's start with normal. If nothing else, <laughs> this game has a. That's called a strong opening. <laughs> Let's just call it New World. Alright, you can craft vehicles at a machine factory. I have no idea if this game is any good, but I don't know, man. <laughs> Push the button. Planet you had lived on got destroyed. It is time to start up a civilization here. In this world, you can craft various items. Let's hit trees and stones. Gather materials for a workbench to craft. As you progress an era, more and more items will be available for you to craft. Offer items in an altar of civilization to progress an era. And craft more powerful and convenient items. Materials I can gather on this very first island are limited. You can go explore. You can go exploration. I think they mean explore. Uh, with an altar of transportation. Let's move on to more challenging items to collect items. Or challenging islands to collect items. Sorry. There's a variety of fields with different environments, such as Volcanic Mountain or Snowy Mountain, in the world of Craftopia. Before proceeding to the challenge, let's because progress an era and prepare stronger equipment. In the very off chance that the devs ever actually watch this. I think you mean explore, my friend. I don't want to hammer too hard on it. Okay. Tutorial person! Run with shift. Complete. Receive a reward. Check the mission screen. Where's the mission screen? Mission screen. Alright. Receive a reward by completing all miss missions of a mission category. We can jump. This game includes climbing. Okay. Hello, person. Back with left click. Alright, that seems pretty standard. Proceed to collect items. Some items are collected automatically. Alright, or I can open the crafting screen from your... Mi why is crafting O? Let's see then. Is that crouch? Well, we start with some stone, so we can make that real quick. Alright. That makes sense. How about you? Animals by feeding enemies. Oh, hey, fish. Looks like that's a fishing spot of some sort there. All right. Sorry if this starts off a bit slow. I have no idea how this game works. So I want to make sure that I understand it. If you're ready to craft. I recommend making a workbench. You'll be able to craft many more things. And after the workbench, I want to make a glider. Okay. Climb to the sky, what? We got a pickaxe. Some random chests around here. A golem shell. Alright, I can collect materials this way. Although I seem to drift forward each time. So it mentions skills. Oh, that's what the C key is used for, it's rolling. All right, let's grab that. A 
Of course there's magic in this game. Alright. So I can now roll around. A maniac. Vinegar? Alright, sure, I'll take vinegar. Alright. Let's see what else we can find around. Can't pick up. Or I can't pick shellfish, but I can pick them up. Alright. I get the feeling I'll need pearls at some point if those actually exist in this. Let's see what we can collect here. So it mentioned that I could climb things. The question is, how does one climb? Can... All right. Uh, that's not the right thing, but that'll do. Gather stones. They want me to collect a few more stones. Let's make a hatchet. Climb a wall. Okay, hey, but how do I do that? Okay, then. I just sort of cling to it. As, as mentioned before, this game is a uh, work in progress. It is currently in uh, early access. Alright, so I can just kind of jump up a wall if I am right up against it. Alright. Ooh, there's a little pond here. That's nice. Sure. A branch bow. Okay. So let's make a axe if we can. I require logs. Yeah, I know it doesn't seem to be very efficient, but I need some. Oh, it wanted me to punch them. Of course it did. And I can claim that reward, which means I can claim that. So let's collect... Torch, there's a stick. Let's make that axe. There we go. That's more effective. Alright. Doesn't look half bad, but... I don't know, it is still pretty... Decently evident that it is uh, early access. Let's place this here. Not sure how they got an axe, or not an axe, a uh, saw and some chisels, but no, alright. Copper work. Okay, I'll take the word for it. Make that glider. Hold E to retrieve life? What? Oh! To pick it up. Alright. Uh, I've got some skills that I can use. Let's grab that magic one. Elector. Rabbit jump increases your jump height. Static. Up and swim. Increases swimming speed. Increased invincibility during after evading? I think they mean during evading. Hmm. Vitality. Okay, so that just lets you heal slowly as long as you're full enough. Which is always a good idea to pick up. Healing is always a benefit.
Slightly increases the movement speed of all allies. I don't have any allies right now because I'm playing single player. Allows you to double jump. All right. All right. Stamina consumption rate. Wall climber lowers, lowers the uh, consumption rate of a wall jump. Increases passive mana recovery further. Huh. Okay. Kind of want to pick up more mana recovery. I don't know, I always play a wizard, so. This word. Just. Wrong thing. Inventory. Put that. Alright, so I can press jump again while in the air. And it'll just open up and uh, slow down my fall. That's not bad. Alright. Uh, it wants me to collect more wood and straw. As well as rocks. Okay. You have to collect. And I can smack my own buildings. Even though that's a horrible idea. <laughs> I think their animations, I don't know, something about their animations doesn't feel quite right to me. I can't put it into words, I'm not really an animator, unfortunately. So I can't really say much on that, but... It's not the worst, I'll give it that. Not the worst animations I've seen, because it, it does have some actual follow-through to it. Which is nice. Jump slash. Not sure why it said wooden stick or when you craft a stick out of wood twice, but sure. Ooh. A, a proper sword. Alright, so I need some more rocks. No use. I need a two-star weapon. In other words, I need a better pickaxe. Let's just get over here. Bone. Lizard's more dried bone. Get some leather. Collect some more rocks. That is a lot of rocks that they are wanting me to break there. Material inventory plus... Wooden stick. Okay. Knock out an animal and get three pieces of raw meat. Learn how dangerous raw meat is by eating it. I need a stick. For whatever reason. Sure, let's make a stick. Smack things with a stick. Of course, we already have a sword available to us. And attack while jumping. That's one heck of a jump. Dear lord. That... That was... That's a nasty swing. Dear lord, if you launch something that far away. How hard do you have to be swinging that sword in order to launch something that far up in the air? There we go. Let's get us some meat. We got some meat? Alright. Uh, learn how dangerous raw meat is by eating it. So I can that. So it dealt some damage to me, but I did get some food. Bonk. Fuck. <laughs> All right. Yep. 
And then I can just climb this wall. Get up here. Alright, so I just need to craft... I need to craft a campfire. Not a craft fire, or whatever the heck that is. I need to repair my axe. Repair. Well, yeah, there's no fees. I'm just doing it myself, so why would I need to... Okay, so as you uh, repair weaponry or tools, their durability goes down. Yeah, that makes some sense, I guess. I mean, eventually the, the haft and such is just going to start to break apart. Let's craft a campfire. A bit of a funky crafting animation, but... Okay. Make that campfire around here. A little... Yeah. Is that just going to continually burn there now, or...? Oh, it's just cooking now. Okay, so C is both the crouch button and the roll button. Can I break this ore yet? Nope. That is much higher than I can handle. I wonder what that little tree thing is down there. This tree will get out of the way. Yeah, to the left of me there. Huh. Alright, we got a little bit of cooked meat. That's good. Press the button. 17% fullness and some health. That's good. Can I break this down. Yes, I can get copper ore. Alright. Let's see what else we can get up here. I assume copper, then bronze, then iron? I think that's how it goes. Wouldn't be surprised, honestly. Let's see if I can cook some shellfish. I can! Excellent. Fried shellfish. Good to know. And given that it has selling prices, that implies that I'm going to be able to access merchants. Yeah. Mission. Uh, set yourself on fire. Or ride the updraft. Alright. We Okay, that's a lot higher than I was expecting. Sure. And set myself on fire. Okay. Yep. Yep. That's unsurprising. Board. Instruction tips. Craft a slanted slope, rotate it, and set up. Okay. It wants me to make a slanted slope. That's a wall diagonal, wall hole. There? I can rotate it. Let's just set these up somewhere, because we're going to want a uh, way up without much difficulty, right? Looks like this just kind of flips to specific points. I can... Yeah! Now I've got a little way up here. Not an amazing way up, but it'll do. Could use a little top section. 
Gave me a bunch of extra walls as well, so let's just set that down. Here. And there we go, we got an actual way down here. That's nice. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Yeah, it's iron. Okay. More meditation! Alright. Passive mana recovery is much higher. And let's boost vitality as well. Pollution, era, and growth. I need the stone furnace in order to get that. Oh, so, okay. Vectors earn money at market. Alright, so I need to set up a market and then I need to make the altar of arrows or whatever it's called. Of civilization. Okay. So I need this. Stones and logs, that makes sense. And the altar. I did have it set up to uh, autosave pretty regularly, just because this is, in fact, an early uh, access, and I don't really want to risk it all that much if I can help it. Yeah, let's put this over by the chest. And I can sell... This. Be shipped and exchanged into cash. Salty powder can take from the sea and rock salt. We're flowing with sweat and not enough life-threatening maintenance, also important as a seasoning. I have a feeling this is machine translated. Seasoning containing a small amount of acetic acid, it is used to add a sour taste in cuisine. There's a legend that drink when the body becomes soft. What? Spice that greatly enhances the flavor of meat. When handled by a traveling merchant, they dream of leaving peacefully of living peacefully with a wolf. Yep. And that is some decent advice if you're not buying shellfish at a store. If you like actually grab them from the 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 beach. Hey okay, potions, chicken eggs. They're one of the ingredients with the most various usage for cooking. You certainly do not want to run out of eggs. Our life potion. There's side effects to any miss. Okay, I don't know what that is, but concerning. Hold up. A wi <laughs> Looks like you can make a wizard hat with sheep's wool, which I mean, it makes sense. Branch arrow. Eh, fair enough. Branch bow. We already got a branch bow at the moment. Might as well move that there and move here. Yeah, I got no arrows. Okay. Uh, I guess I could throw this in here and try it. All right, and I also need, all right, I need to place the altar. Let's place this right up here. Okay. Why haven't you placed? Oh, okay. Hello. Okay. Agricultural age, adjust. Okay, so this is what I get if I enter the agricultural age. That's good to no, know. I need animal meat. Good to know. Pull our sword and get to work then. Uh, you.
And almost. Alright. Get back here. There we go. Leather, talon, animal flesh. Alright. It's not the worst uh, controls for combat. go the market mission has been completed go back to skills and boost our vitality a bit huh there. a bear fell in the water and died okay I don't know how that happened but sure let's progress the age It looks kind of dreary. Oh, no, I placed it the other way around. Okay. All right. Uh, meet the god of Sky Island Anubis. Give slate of growth to Anubis. Give increase of ability levels to Krail and bring up the ability levels. I need to find a... I land. Okay, so that's where that is. Some more herbs. Uh, I guess we could just slope up there, couldn't we? But that seems kind of weird looking. Well, slope time it is. And let's just place another flat spot there. Away we go. <laughs> this doesn't look very pretty, but I guess we're still learning. Need to switch build mode. What does that mean? Grid snap mode is on. Looks like there's conveyor belts on there. Interesting. And they're running. Why does this guy have conveyor belts? Uh, okay, that is literally just Anubis. <laughs> Interesting choice, but okay. And there we go. We have made a path. Uh, do I even have a slate of growth? I don't think I do. What's with the conveyor belts though? Interesting choice to use literal Anubis. <laughs> and in a strange way, too. Usually Anubis is associated with protecting pyramids. Why is he here? Well, this is a very strange game, I suppose. But I need some more copper and I need to make a stone furnace somehow An empty bucket uh, eh. interesting play hmm Washing machine or repair station. Furniture workbench. 
Hatter, blacksmith. I need more logs. Doable. Really wish I could hit this a little harder, but you know, actually break it down in a couple hits. But oh well. Let's craft a blacksmith. Already got it on my hotbar. Uh, let's put it. Let's put it over here. Little workbench. An immunity choke. Okay. Interesting choice to use that. Any copper ore. That's iron, that's iron. Copper! Nothing else. It's got some really good music. For what it is. It very calming. What does that sound? Ooh! Found a thing. Dust spread. Kevin's wooden axe. What the heck does it mean by Kevin's wooden axe? Defense plus two, okay. Kevin likes to be defensive, I guess. Sautéed mushroom. Okay, I can grip onto pretty much anything, so long as it's vertical enough. Got the copper I need. Let's get up here. A little bit more vitality is always good. Let's toss that meat on. What does it want for the next era? It wants wheat flour, a detector, and a shield. And then we hit Frontier Age, which... Interesting. Monster Prism. Oh, so it's, it's a Pokeball. <laughs> Alright. Let's see what else we can get. Uh, I need... What else do I need? Stone Furnace and an Ingot. So let's find stone furnace. I need more rock. Always need some more of whatever this or that. Dusty old copper coin. Interesting. I have no idea what this ore is. Ithril, maybe? Come on, make it up. Make it up. There we go. Let's see what we got here. Stone Furnace. And we can place the furnace by its counterpart. Sand. Not sure why there's some sand up here, but sure. Here we go. And now we can make some copper. Yeah, that crafting animation is kind of... I don't know, it's weird. 
It's funky is what it is. <laughs> well, I don't have any tablets of growth, so I can't do that. Butcher, defeat 10 cows within 10 seconds. So we need a copper bow, some wooden arrows, and a copper shield. Let's see like that. Go to the blacksmithing table. Make that bow. And replace our branch bow with it. Because, I mean, better bows means why not use that? Machete. Allen horn iron ingots. An iron whetstone. Pull up, what? A bar-shaped grinding stone made of hard steel. It quickly and messily scrapes off the oil and rust from the blade and revives its sharpness. If you want to keep cutting your enemies efficiently, you may want to imitate the traditional style of holding a knife in your right hand and a sharpening stick in your left. Owning steels aren't shaped like a whetstone, they're shaped like a stick. What are they talking about? Okay. Interesting. This poche contains tools that assist you in combat. I know, right? It does look a lot like Breath of the Wild. It's got that art style. Also, hello, Japan has rice. Glad to see you're here. I honestly have no idea how this game <laughs> is going to go. I saw it on Steam, thought, hey, that would be fun to stream, let's try it, and then here we are. I mean, I can... There's some aspects of it that tell me that no, this is not actually <laughs> decompiled Breath of the Wild code. For one, it had a character creator. God forbid Nintendo make a character creator in Legend of Zelda. <laughs> uh, but yeah, the, an the animations are funky as heck. Oh, we got birds. Also, <laughs> I don't think you saw the start to this game. The start of this game is interesting. They took a very strong choice and ran with it. Alright, so if we go, <laughs> right, they want me to make a shield, and <laughs> they want me to do a dungeon. So, shields, I don't actually want to use shields because I am a coward and like to hide at range. Oh yeah, it's great! <laughs> First step to creating a character, press this big red button. So, charcoal can be used to make, it looks like a cooking pot, flaming arrows, something else, some sort of ash, maybe? Huh. Well, that's that mission done. I am glad that they do, despite being an early access game, do have a actual, like, tutorial thing going on here. How much damage with a single attack? That's a hefty one. Three enemies with melee attacks while having- ooh. Headshot. And <laughs> five headshots within a minute. Alright, so we want a detector. Playing close for women, playing close for men. Eh, eh, alright. Let's see, detector. I'm gonna want one of these. Detects the presence of a dungeon or a special pod, product of a highly advanced dowsing technology, and seeks whatever the user seeks. I, th I mean, I think I know where the dungeon is already. Is that it? Because that looks. That thing looks a lot like a dungeon. I don't know about you. Alright, so I can use G to set a waypoint. Gigantic waypoint, dear lord. Alright. Uh, 
do I have to actually use the detector? Alright, I just had to equip it. What is that? Oh, that's the giant island in the sky, because, I don't know, I guess there's an island in the sky. Let's be a gigantic coward and not actually fight this bear. Instead, I don't have any arrows. Okay. There we go, now I have arrows. Hello, bear. Hello, bear. There we go. I found a dungeon! What a shock! This gigantic withered tree thing is a dungeon. Let's remove that detector so it stops beeping at me. Uh, I have no idea how well this will go, but who knows? Maybe it's. Maybe it'll go well. Well, that was an interesting view. the heck? Let's see. Vitality, let's pick up that a bit more. That should be the... F oh, no, I need one more level to max that out. Smack the barrel. Vinegar, pepper, cooking oil. Alright, so I actually have to be standing to actually pull this back. Skeleton Lieutenant, huh? Not very good at detecting intruders. <laughs> yeah, bonk the barrels. Oh, I'm out of arrows, so I guess I'm gonna go a little ham on these things. There we go. I hope that they plan on uh, upgrading the melee combat, because it feels a little... I only really have this one attack. String. As well as a jumping attack. Uh, skeleton's bean seed. That's interesting for him to be carrying around. He'll be carrying a bean seed. Fancy. Giraffe's charcoal. I don't know why random uh, items that you can't actually use for combat would have enchantments like that, but sure. Can I break this? No. Alright. Let's break this up. More stuff is always good to have. And I don't know, I, I guess I just need a little bit more salt in my diet. <laughs> yeah, break some vases. Property damage. Holstein jersey bone. Alright. More cooking ingredients for when I eventually get a cooking pot. Ooh. Oh, I thought it said potatoes. I would have liked some potatoes. Stamina. Gotta let it recover. A 
Although I do like the uh, addition of a of a dodge roll, even if it's not something that you. Well, actually, no. The very first skill point absolutely has to be dodging, so I guess it is just basically in there. Huh. Oh, potato seed. Excellent. I can use that. Axe's copper bow. Interesting name. Let's see what else we can find here. Some barrels. And a level up from beating up a barrel, I guess. Sure. Alright. Skill fighter shortens your skills cooldown. Tailwind increases your movement speed for a certain period of time. Quick pacing. Yeah. Stuff they haven't quite added in yet. Increases your movement speed. That actually sounds really useful. Gift. Or grit, sorry. I thought it said gift. Yes, I know it is. Let's open whatever this is. Although I think she probably should have been at the start for that. I got no arrows. Alright. Uh, it appears to be stuck on there. This should be easy. Bonk. Okay, that thing takes very little damage. Uh, yeah, I can see that. I can see that sort of look to it. It's missing the fancy designs for the uh, pillars, but... The Skyrim had a bunch of really... Uh, archaic runic look to it. Let's not be in the way of that. Okay, that's a lot more damage than I was expecting. Let's just... And it's not stuck anymore. Okay. How much damage can this thing take? Doesn't seem to be specifically targeting me. Interesting animation choice, okay, sure. I'm glad they've got some combat actually implemented now. Or at this point, the Say that as if I... And there's an opening. Let's beat the crud out of it. There's its weak point. That explains why I was taking so long to actually do any serious damage to it. Because it hadn't revealed its little weak point thing yet. Just gotta smack them around a bit until they get into their little spin animation. And just ram them into a pillar, I believe. Hey! Bit too far. Sadly, I don't have any spare arrows to fire at its core. Ah, crud. Run away. There we go. Mm-hmm. Now, if only I could climb up onto its... Yeah, I didn't think I could. I could climb up onto its little, like, uh, ledge there built into it. Just wail away at its... Okay! Wail away at its uh, core. There we go. Here we go. Could use, like, a proper uh, sound effect for when it does that. But, eh. Mid-grade refining stone, iron one-headed sword, some rock. That's pretty good. A few core shots in it while I was standing. Really? I didn't notice. 
I don't want the illuminating cyclops. I want the proper sword. That's something. I have no idea what. But glowing arcane geometries instead of glowing arcane geometries typically means weird magic shenanigans. And that's how I get slates of growth. Okay. Iron bow, machete, konyaku jelly. A punishing konyaku jelly. Alright. This thing. Huh. If only I could grab that for, like, decoration. Later on. Okay, hello, bear. Ow. Ow. Okay. There we go. Poor burr. Let's grab some more movement speed. Because those things... That sort of thing is always good to have. Doesn't matter if you're a wizard, fighter, rogue, whatever. Movement speed's movement speed. Rookie farmer, rookie merchant. Make over 5,000 G with water. Cannot complete this mission in multiplayer. Rookie rider. A wooden... A wooden hoverboard, sure. Skin that just a little bit. There we go. Let's see what we can do here. Enemy on fire. Use 110 men within 10 seconds. Learn heal and use it. Okay. One shot, one kill. I do not have any strong enough equipment for that sort of thing, but oh well. We should probably upgrade our pickaxe. Because, I mean... Their pickaxe. It's kind of needed to get all the ores that we're going to need to refine throughout this game. This way. Probably also get some proper clothing. Can I make proper clothing? Get project. Okay! Old rags. Craft those up. Alright, let's see what I can do here. I'm not sure why I need to make it at the blacksmith, but sure. Sure. Clearly I need to heat the old rags and then just smack them together with a with a hammer. I don't know, I like the pants better. I Okay, so it's just a character model in general, then. Sure. Let's see what the difference is on an actual model. Mm. Mm. What looks better? This isn't... Bad. I think I like this one better, personally. In comparison to this one. Yeah. Wolf's Puppet Cutlass, what? Huh. Interesting thing to know, but sure. <laughs> Let's go with the cutlass. Yeah. All right, so what's the next quest that want me to do? Make some copper tools. Eh. 
Yeah, definitely gonna want those copper tools. Because stone is great and all, but it's stone and not copper. <laughs> and put this here. And this here. There a way to... I guess I can sell them, can't I? Yeah, if I just toss this here and this and this. this, this I don't care about the shield. Don't really need the stone or iron one-handed sword. Toss those all in. And those should get tossed pretty quickly. All right. Right, they wanted me to go up this way. And then use the tablet to boost something. I've gained money. I don't know what to use the money for, but I gained money. <laughs> uh, so ability trail and, and bring up the ability levels. Okay. That means, but sure. Hello, Anubis. Literally Anubis, dude. I need four to do it. Okay. Then I guess... Hmm. I guess we can hit up the other dungeon. But... Eh? Eh? Good to know that I don't... Sure. Okay. Yeah, totally not Anubis. It's Anubis. <laughs> it's a different... It's a different Anubis. Okay? It's legally distinct Anubis. Uh, do I get more wood per... Yeah, I get more wood per... Okay. That's the benefit of upgrading your... Uh, your axe. Anything else I can forge? I can make silver ingots. Sure, let's make silver ingots. And then I can just leave those running. Whole bunch of timers just spinning, uh, spinning their wheels. Just, I don't have any... Right, because I use them for the... For the arrows. So let's grab some real quick. Smackety smackety smack. There we go. What is this? Too tough. Too tough is what it is. Uh, furniture, potion brewing. Hatter? Get some sheep wool, we could make a hattery. Eh. Uh, I don't think you need a... <laughs> I don't think you need a circular saw to make fillets of fish. I don't know about you, but that seems a little excessive. Does it have to be some really bony fish in order to need an actual, like, saw? Make that charcoal so we can make a food pot. I assume that's what it is. Kind of strange that it takes longer to make charcoal than it does to make, um, iron. Or, sorry, silver. But, sure. Huh. Let's see. Amulet of Passion. Amulet of Immunity. Resistance, Poison Resistance, Cold Resistance. Or you can make frickin' chorker, uh, Chokers. Porkers. Ardor. Immunity. Cold-Blooded. Some earrings of the exact same type. Iron Ring. So those just boost defense. Okay. Let's see what else we can make here. An iron talisman. 
Iron plate soaked with numerous grudging, uh, grudges, kneeling in a ritual. Kneeling is a ritual that is performed by selected people who know pride and shame to apologize only once in their lives. Strength of one's will to keep one's head up even on a burning iron plate is of great magical significance. Okay then. Uh, I guess I could take out... Is there any sheep? I'd rather shear them, but I know that you can actually get their wool by attacking them directly. Ah. Those things are either those things are either really light or they are getting hit with great force to get launched that far. There we go. And wool. Bonk. Away it goes. Grab this copper real quick so I don't have to come back and grab it later. If nothing else, it is very satisfying to smack those monos with a uh, with great force. Uh, I could use some more food. Even if it's ridiculously common to get food for a game that claims to be survival. Hmm. So it wants me to make a, a hatter, a red beret, and potion stand and a potion. Definitely doable. Let's craft the hat making station. And then this. Let's place the hattery over by the Air of Civilization because obviously it is civilized to have a fancy piece of head uh, headgear. And a potion table. wants me to make this, which means I need sheep wool and some iron. Ranger's cap. Okay. Interesting. I don't know if I'd call that a copper hat so much as an antler hat. A red hat of a boy that saved the world allows you to equip bats. Oh, it's a... Uh... It's a mother reference, okay. Yeah. I'm surprised to see a mother reference in this game, but sure. <laughs> uh, where are you, sheep? There's some sheep. Hmm. Was I able to just flat out ignore fall damage by just doing an attack? Yeah, gotta get everything in here. <laughs> gotta make sure you have all the things. I'm gonna test something. Okay, I do take fall damage if I attack. Okay. Glad they thought of that. Because otherwise... Otherwise I could just jump off of like a volcano just fly out into the abyss and just jump and attack. The ground can't hurt you if you attack it first. Alright, uh, I don't need anything here. Yeah, you know, I, I, I haven't actually played Earthbound. I am really well aware... I am really well aware of it, but... I haven't actually played it, but what the heck, man? A cannon is classified as transportation. Sure. <laughs> I guess it could be used for transportation. Alright, we got a cook pot. Yeah. 
Skinner's dish, fried egg, animal f failed cooking. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Is it stealing though if it's just a single element? I don't know, man. <laughs> Dried abalone. That's not what I would call it, but sure. Dried fish. It is higher than the than the dividends per G in luxury goods. Wonderful soup stock can be taken to the river bed. If nothing else, it is very interesting. Or maybe Banjo Kazooie. Yeah, that's also a possibility. Cactus salad. Of yeah, candy. A steamed egg custard. Why would you put mushroom in a custard? Uh. Rice cake. Yeah, from what I can tell, this game did originate in... No worries. Look, man, I'm. A, it's an early access game. It, it's absolutely fine to be critical of an early access game. So long as the understanding that they're still working on it is in there, right? Like I've been, I've been bad mouthing their uh, animations, but that doesn't mean that they're, you know, doesn't mean that it's necessarily a bad game. It's just incomplete. Vichyssois, that's an interesting thing to bring into... Sure. I haven't seen those things uh, in a game in a while. So, sir. Okay. So you... So not only is there the warrior class, the ranger class, the mage class, and I'm using class in a very broad sense here. But you can also just play as a Pokemon trainer. <laughs> sure, let's use that too. Alright. A wheat field. Let's make an empty bucket, because... I'm not sure I made ten. Yeah, another Nintendo game. Let's just throw it together. <laughs> Alright, let's see how many buckets of water I can collect here. Kinda in the water at this point. There's... Sure. Alright, uh, I guess let's go further down towards the ocean, see if it accepts that as having water there. Alright. <laughs> Is there water here? There's water here! Hurrah! A bucket of water from the well. I wouldn't call this the well. Yeah, I, I guess that's the reasoning. A little bit. <laughs> I guess it is that reasoning. I mean, I don't have a well, but sure. I wish I could just fill up all these buckets at once, but sure. Uh, okay, I could have just grabbed that there. A blood-sucking one-handed sword, okay. More shellfish. Bonk. Bonk. Pepper. I'll take pepper. And some cooking oil. I'll gladly take that. I really need to boost my stamina gauge in some way, though. Because being able to run everywhere is definitely uh, beneficial. I'm going to need your wool. Sorry, sheep, but I need your wool. Away it goes. And just gotta get up here. Did 
Genshin Impact vibes too? You know, I've only really seen uh, screenshots of it, but I could see that, yeah. In the way it's uh, like UI is designed. Got that kind of like starlight background thing. Make some iron, max that out. Make a metric ancient iron ingot. A smelting ancient iron ore, that's interesting. Oh! Interesting. So I've got skills for the basics. I've got skills for combat. I got skills for magic, living, brick, whatever the heck the living means. What? Oh no, gotcha coins. What have I what have I stepped into? Oh no. Uh when you purchase a repair an item or improve breed. <laughs> I mean, I've already got an altar of transportation. I'm walking on to level 5 to visit the Hell Island. The what? <laughs> I'm sorry, but the what now? The, um, Hell Island? I get the feeling the Hell Island is not exactly a nice place to live, but... <laughs> he wants me to craft one despite... Being right next to one. Sure. Yep, that is literally just the same thing. Alright. Let's go place it right here. Plonk. Yeah, you got the whole alchemist thing too. <laughs> there we go, gigantic spinning wheel altar thing. On the beginning. On level one. Yay! a pretty big map it looks like so I can just carve my way around this place then Am I getting that right additions needed to open 100 coins all right well I think we should probably take out that other dungeon that was here that one right there And then we can legitimize going to a whole new uh, island. Yep. Away it goes into the into the skies. Bonk. And. A black-tailed gull. Escaping trial beginner? I have no idea what this is. Ban the receptionist. Be able to escape Krill the god shall approve of you. Okay. So we've got different trial types as well. You've got escaping, combat, and other such. What, is it just a... Oh! I have to get up there. get up there. Ow. Uh, 
Hmm. I have to get all the way up there. I have to do that though. Hmm. Okay. It's not the time to change equipment. You haven't equipped any arrows. Uh, let's equip these. We get up there. That's actually a good question, how to get up there. I guess... Can you start your climb on one of the pillar pieces? Good question! Like these things here? Because I gotta stop climbing at some point, otherwise I'm just gonna run out of stamina and fall right back down. Not seeing any secret switches. Any suggestions? No suggestions. Just ordeal of, ex of escape. And whoever this Krail thing is, we'll be happy. All right. Uh, that's not solid. I can't stand on it. There's a skill to boost my polishing martial arts fist, great archer, acrobatic, act, vitality is just life regen, rabbit jump, increases jump height, so that might be a way to do it. Wall climber might be it. Hmm. I get the feeling that I can't actually do this at the moment as I currently am. gain stamina while I'm gliding. I don't think I can, but... No. Yeah, I don't think I can actually get out that way. Alright. And... Okay. Fancy multi slash techniques. Huh. Hmm. Uh, what? There's cows on the conveyor belt. Okay. Sure. Alright, to the next area, I suppose. <laughs> the bear had given up on life. It didn't really feel like fighting back. That sounded like too much work. All right. Desert of Mountain 1-2.
I can destroy the island. Okay. Grab this other one, too. Let's see what it is. Hmm. Let's grab heal life just as a spell so I can get the basics of magic. Yeah, novice mage. Learn heal and use it. Obtain some mana potion. So if I go to my inventory. How do I magic heal? Yeah. Alright then. Island of Big Bridge 2-1. <laughs> huh. Those also need... Maybe we could go out into this one. Or one of these. Because we got the iron for it. Not entirely sure what's with this whole island hopping mechanic. There we go. Oh, there we go. Now I'm hitting it. I had to reposition myself by swinging a few times. There we go. Island of Cove 2 2. Open that up. Island of Valley 2 3. Yeah, that could be nice. Sure, let's go to Island of Valley. I don't know. This whole island hopping mechanic seems a little strange. Why would you want to give up your little, uh, setup? Without having really good reason to. Oh, we got green monos now. They can survive a hit as they go flying. The skies above. <laughs> oh, we got monster dens. And they're not on on the ground either. Hmm. I wonder where they got the idea for this sort of architecture. Hmm. But that's a bit excessive. What in the name of... Viking is proof of loyalty to the Lord of the Night the, in the medieval, Middle Ages. To get this amount of seal was extremely difficult. Sorry, but... Yeah, I, I didn't think I could use it. <laughs> that seemed excessive. Smack. Yes. Yeah. Hmm. 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 Going off to the side for some reason. Oh, because that, that one's around. Alright. Uh, Alright, there we go. Damaged fossil. Alright. Chop down 10 trees within a minute. I don't think those were trees. <laughs> Salt and vinegar, let's make chips. Yeah! We need to make a potato farm. The heck is this? Sulfur? Or a chalcum? Alright, so the random junk inventory's been filled. Hmm. 
Where do we want to set up? We could set up right in the middle of the plains. That's right, Mono. Don't bounce at me. Alright, bouncing into oblivion. Hello, dear. Spontaneous creation. Bonk. <laughs> Away they go! Could set up on top of one of the mountains. That could be nice. Especially since we'll be able to glide pretty much wherever you want at that point. That's... interesting. What the heck is this? Huh. There we go. I'm thinking up here should work well. Well, on the one hand, nice view, and uh, you can also glide wherever the heck I want, but on the other hand, it's a little harder to gain access to. Uh. Oh, hey, another one. Gotta race Koopa Troop up the mountain. <laughs> Unfortunately, I'm not that, <laughs> that good at running, apparently, up mountains. There's one dungeon. Uh. Hmm. A giant boulder with a face on it. Yeah, I am starting to see more of the, uh. The Breath of the Wild just kind of peek out of this game. Breath of the Wild plus crafting plus. <laughs> There's just no spin to win button yet. Hmm. Hmm. Doing a big thunk. But. Uh. Geronimo. It's. Pillar of the World of Heritage appears. What? Alright, how do I toss some... Okay, that's how I toss some things. Yoink. And... Two. There we go. And we got a... Big... Rock... Stick. Alright, I think we should probably set up here. So, from here I need to... Make something... Ooh, I can make some... I can make a silver pickaxe. Alright, craft. I need a work table. I'm also going to need a hatter. And a blacksmith. Because this looks like a pretty uh, mineral rich area. Let's also craft some. Stone floor. Stone floor doesn't sound too bad. This. Yeah, they could really work on their crafting animation. Oh well. Uh, I really like it if they took off the grid snap mode. What the heck is that? There we go, it's been dealt with, whatever the heck it is. Seed, patty, and mushrooms. Okay. Now let's build it. Oh, that's where they came from, there's a little fort up here. Alright, I guess we're gonna have to snap it to grid. Totally not Skull Kid, yeah. 100% not. It's, uh... Uh... 
Quick, what's a quick name for, uh, that, that sounds like Majora, but isn't actually Majora. Uh, it's totally the, uh... Uh... The Marjorie Mask. There we go. <laughs> Let's place this here. Got a little... Uh, stone floor. Well, a stone flat floor to set up to shop here. Right there should do. Got a hatter. With a skull on it, apparently. Sure. If that's what you want to do. Let's see. Place this right here. And let's pick up that hatter. Put a little closer to the wall. Because it's an actual, like, got a backing and all that, so. There we go. I just need a little sheep wool and I can make that, uh, that fancy beret. There we go. Not sure why I have to kill the sheep to get its wool, but. Murder it is. Yeah, we got a fancy hat. Yeah, that doesn't look too bad. Living, slumber, heals life and mana when you're sleeping on the bed. For a certain period of time, the damages you give against natural trees and rocks will increase, but your life will decrease every time you attack, so you gather faster by chewing through your health. Oh, we got a... a goblin bard. You cheeky bugger. Well, we got something original. So, good on them. that equipment inventory one it'll definitely be the hell island when you unlock island of level five or higher for the first time i don't know what the heck a hell island is but it's concerning lumber lumberjacks quick work the efficiency of various things Get a potion that slightly heals the life sometimes you catch double the fish lose less money when you die Hmm. By eating your pet. Okay. That's a little messed up, but sure. The heck is trick? Uh oh, gimmicks. Okay, Fisher's life. You either ca you can either catch a whale or a piece of trash. And, dear Lord. Limited fake blade. Drowning in ideals, this mountain of strained of stained steel finds the truth. As fate had already decided, the realization of their identity fake. He still reached for the sinking. What sort of ice cream cone is that? All right. Uh, water creation. Wind shenanigans. Open <laughs> fire creation, just make it. Actually, that would work. If I go grab fire creation, place that down here. <laughs> it makes a fire. It makes a campfire. Okay. And what's notable about this is that I can place this here, and then do this. But, oh no, I was expecting you to just summon, hey, no worries. 
I was expecting it to just summon something. But no, it just gives you a bonfire. Sure. Sure. Whee! I really need to get some buffs for this, uh, paraglider. If I'm gonna be flying around so much. <laughs> I guess if I... Eh. Ancient weapon with ancient iron ingot. Let's make five wheat fields. Craft a well. So I need to go over there. Hmm. That's a heck of a thing to just pop in. Sure. Werewolf of the New Moon. Okay! I think I'm about to die. Uh, where is it? Okay, it's over there. The heck? New Moon. Well, they're killable. Why do they drop an egg? Sure. Alright, so every once in a while the thing does a new moon and suddenly everything gets a lot harder as a lot of new enemies spawn in. Good to know. Actually a new moon. I don't see oh, there's a moon. That's not a new moon. That's a full moon. Let's go there. Because then I can quickly do that ordeal, quote unquote. Ah. Okay, so it does save it. New. Alright. Because if I can just bonfire my way up there, I should be good. Alright, so they do spawn everywhere then. Hello, Burr. And let's just make a little fire here. You. Up we go. That's all I'm gonna get from the updraft. Okay. Wind edge. Faces blades of wind. Creates water from nothing. Fires magic bullets. If I make multiple fires, do they affect stack? No. Hmm.
get up there. Not really. Alright. I was hoping that I could use bonfires to just boost my way up there, but it looks like that's not gonna work. This is a facility that gathers drop logs on the field. Drones themselves can't cut trees, though. Okay, so they just gather. That's alright. Seed. Okay, that's an interesting color. Okay, so there's that. That house icon. Be heading right for it. Let's see what those houses are. A map. Maybe it's something, maybe it's nothing. And away we go. I got a potato seed. What is this? Oh, it's my campfires. So I'm over here. Alright. Oh. Can make it over here. That's a nice little spot. Yeah, that looks nice. But I'm heading this way. very serene if nothing else hmm. okay that's a crocodile why is there a crocodile tough bugger Okay. You're very snappy. There we go. Dangerous iron ore. Fire creation count. It creates more bonfires. That's all it does. I'm not sure why I'd want that, but sure. Arc heal. Okay. I heard it respawn. I'd rather not deal with it. Boink. Oh, hey. A thing. Grab that thing. Seed patty. Okay, I've got to curve around here, and then I can reach my home base. Uh, let's do water creation. Magical quiver, you will not use up your arrows for a certain amount of time. Resurrection. That's a second tier thing? Gives damage to the enemy by dropping a lightning bolt. Lightning ball. Magic grasps. Every melee attack grants you the buff. That increases damage of magic attack skills. Okay. So I can just make water now. Alright, that's some utility. I guess. Uh, intermediate product. I don't want to... And I kind of want to try out this cannon. Because that sounds hilarious, honestly. Uh, let's make... Let's upgrade our tools. We can make a silver pickaxe. Why not? Right. Right. Oh, I need to go over here, beat up this tree, and upgrade my tools. Alright, uh, 
that needs 10 ingots, so I'm going to grab a silver pickaxe and then grab a silver... Interesting sound. A uh, silver other thing as well. Silver axe, that's the, that's the word. Maybe that's what the blue stuff is for. That's silver. Oh. Huh. A <laughs> baseball bat. <laughs> High quality baseball bat. High quality is in... An artist went into the depths of a mountain to hide select the wood, dried it over, out over a few years, and carved it out carefully with its weight balance in mind while catering to the user's preferences. Nobody would dare to use this for any other purpose. Definitely not. No way. <laughs> All right, mark it. This is a strange game. But I think it's got some charm to it, if nothing else. Mm -hmm. And grab this. Let's place it right around here. Scoot it back. There we go. I need silver. Stronger than iron, uh, I don't think that's true, but sure. In this world, it's silver is stronger than iron. Let's go with that. What else do I need? I'm gonna need a potion brewing stand, which means I need copper. I'm gonna need a chest, first and foremost, which means I need copper. It appears that a sheep has gotten stuck under our little platform. <laughs> like some copper. Summon some water because why not? Is this just an infinite ore source? Really? Okay, I mean, I'll take it. Because if it's an infinite ore source, that means that I can just, you know sit around here and collect stuff. Hmm. Eh. Yeah. Sorry, I had to sneeze real quick there. Alright. Let's grab some stone from here so that we can actually make the, uh, the chest. Because we're gonna need a chest by, well, pretty soon, honestly. This appears to be a sandstone, literally. It's all sand. And this is an infinite source, okay. Or at least it seems infinite. These thick, flat ones look to be some sort of infinite source of material. Which I'm not against, honestly. Just having an infinite source of anything is infinitely valuable. Uh, I need a... Well, first I'm gonna need this age altar. Altar of Civilization, sorry. And shove it onto my heart bar. Throw it down. Let's throw it down here. Just gotta alchemy it up. You should be able to get me a chest pretty soon. Logs. Okay. Hmm. Oh, maybe that yellow ore is gold. Lord knows these types of games like to make gold stronger than steel for some unknown reason. Ah yes, gold rare, therefore gold better than steel. Every way. Memory piece of wisdom. Art core of firebrand, pathogen, and ice crystal. Huh. What? I'm not sure why you'd want chokers of all things, but sure. I guess some people like those. Oh yeah, that's why I need the copper thing. Oh, that'll let me- a magic hat. 
conveyor belts, generators, targeters. A horse mask, yeah, sure. Uh, cogwheels, a poisonous spear naga, blue rose edge, flower staff, egg nigiri, sushi, yellow herb tea, red herb tea, pink herb tea. Oh, they boost stuff. Okay, a jack o' lantern. Hmm. Santa's hat. The medic compulsion occurs at the end of the year, and most sale clerks are equipped with these hats. Anyone involved in sales, whether human, animal, or robot, will wear these hats. Everyone knows that this incredibly infectious phenomenon will magically disappear after a specific date. Dragon Killer, Durandal. <laughs> ah, yes, let's add in a Berserk reference, too. This weapon was a block of iron too crude to be called a sword. Stormbringer. Sting. Rage Blade. Western Hat. Okay. So I need a wheat field. I make a wheat. Alright, I only need. Logs and straw, but I need a few more logs and some straw to make more. All right, over here, start smacking this. Look, there's nothing wrong with making references, but the sheer amount, dear lord. Smack him down. Mm -hmm. Let's collect some of this. Yep, that's silver. And I need more. Right, I needed a chest to store some materials. How did I forget to do that? Alright. A chest. Let's make a couple. Punctilious. The heck does punctilious mean? Yep. This shall be the materials chest. It's a Kanyaka gel. Calorie food made from potatoes. Extra purpuric is widely preferred. Also used as a biodegradable structural material. Okay. Yeah, I stored things in a chest. Guess this can go in there too. And I can now grab that silver. Yoink! Alright, I can't pick that up with this silver. Hmm. Another chest to store other stuff in. Let's put it here. And we can put leather. Yeah. Mmm, sheep's wool. Golem shell. I don't know what a golem shell is for. Huh. Well. We got some stuff done in this strange game. Um, I mean, it functions. That's good. Uh. <laughs> well... Well, I don't know 
how to describe this game, but I mean, I hope it gets uh, some more updates. However, I'm gonna have to call it a uh, stream. Hopefully my, uh, my pace tracking has been able to keep up. Hopefully you enjoyed this. I am... I am strangely enjoying it. If nothing else, it's wild to see what's actually been included as a reference here. So yeah. Uh, that should be all. If you happen to be watching on YouTube, please don't copyright strike me. I did not make this game. <laughs> uh, please don't forget to like and subscribe and all that stuff. Or join the stream, hang out with us, that sort of stuff. We're going to be playing Warframe tomorrow. Uh, hopefully you'll join us. And I will see you tomorrow. So have a great day, friends. Goodbye. And a boop. <laughs>